Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you tonight? Hello, good evening. Hello, Denise. Hello, Welcome good evening. Class. Hello, Claudia. Hello, Sonia. Hello, good evening. Hello, Marco. How are you? How are you tonight? Fine, thanks. And you? I excellent. Thank you so much. Denise, how is it going? How is it going? Hello, good evening. Hello, Moises, good evening. Then I have um, Esmeralda Isabel, Esmeralda Guadalupe. Good evening, welcome to the class. So do you have any question about the platform exercises? Problems there? Question? Question on the platform exercises? No, no questions, no problems there. ¿Cómo vamos con ese trabajo de la plataforma? Es, recuerden que para esta semana tenemos que terminar el section one y section number two. ¿Quién ya avanzó en las secciones de la plataforma? I'm here in section three. three. Ah, ok, that's great. Congratulations. You have already do the homework for this week. Nice. Anybody? Thank you. Section number one. Who has already finished that section? Who has already finished the section number one? No, Jeff? Okay, don't forget that for tomorrow you have to complete those two sections, section one and section two. Then tomorrow we are going to have classes, right? Remember that we didn't have classes uh, on Monday, so we are going to have that class tomorrow, okay? So tomorrow we have classes. Let us start with tonight class. How do you spend your day? And that is the topic for today. How do you spend your day? So let me show you. So this is the topic for tonight. How do you spend your day? Welcome to the class number three and let's start with the conversation tonight. The first question or the title of this conversation is where do you work? Where do you work? What is the meaning of this question? Do you have any idea? Where do you work? What is the meaning of the question? Donde trabajas? Donde trabajas? Okay, perfect. That is, where do you work? So let's, let's listen this conversation and let's find some examples of where these people work. So take a look at the picture. What do you think? What do you think? Where uh, does Jason work? Where does Jason work? Look at the picture. In a restaurant. Okay, he works in a restaurant. And what about Andrea? Where does Andrea work? Travel. He's a gay. Okay, she's a guy, it's a tourist guy. ¿Cuál de los trabajos preferirían? ¿Work in a restaurant or work as a tourist guy? A tourist guy. Tourist guy. Uh, a tourist guy, of course, right? So let's listen to this small conversation to start the class tonight. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Any new vocabulary in this part? 
new vocabulary, new words. Okay, let's see this one, for example, part-time job. What is the meaning of that phrase? Part-time job. Trabajo de medio tiempo. Excellent. Medio tiempo. Fast food restaurant. Fast food restaurant. Comida rápida. Restaurante de comida rápida. Okay. Which restaurant? What is the meaning of which in that question? ¿Cuál restaurante? ¿Cuál? Excellent. In hamburger heaven. Okay, Hamburger Heaven. Okay, that is a cool name, right? So, no more question. How do you pronounce Peru in English? Peru. Peru. <laughs> Very good. Uh, how interesting. What's the meaning of this? How interesting. How interesting. Qué interesante. Very good. Qué interesante. Uh, yes, it's a great job. I love it. ¿Qué hay de su trabajo? ¿Aman su trabajo? ¿Quién dice I love my job? I don't love my job. Ah, I love my job. I don't, I don't love my job. Ok. ¿Qué hay del resto de los compañeros de la clase? Do you like your job? How do you like your job? I love it. I really like. I don't like. I don't love my job. Okay, let's go. Also. Okay, so, so. Más o menos. Teacher, solo esperando diciembre para que nos liquiden. Bye bye. A buscar otro el otro año. That's great. So let's listen. Let's listen again. Pay attention to the pronunciation, please, especially the question and the answer. And then we are going to practice. I'm going to need two volunteers to practice after listening this conversation. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, what is the name of the travel agency? What is the name of the travel agency? Thomas Cook Travel. Thomas Cook Travel. Travel. Okay, excellent. So I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who, who wants to practice tonight? Okay, thank you, David. I have David and any other volunteer who wants to practice with David. Thank you so much, Jonel. And then I have Sonia. I need another volunteer for the second round. So, Sonia and... Thank you, thank you so much, Denise. Okay, first we are going to listen to Jonel and David. So, David, can you please start the conversation? Okay, teacher. Um, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Excellent, excellent job, very good. No problem in pronunciation. Okay, yes, this word, so, so, very good, thank you. Thank you so much, Janelle and David. So let's listen to Sonia and Denny. So Denny, can you please start the conversation? Um, okay, where do you work, Andrea? Um, I 
I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Really? What do you do third? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it is a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have an, uh, a part-time job too. Oh, where? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Super job, thank you. That was almost perfect. Yes, this phrase. Can you help me to pronounce this uh, phrase again? Dennis, please. How interesting. Thank you, how interesting. Yes, thank you. Perfect job, thank you so much. So let's see. Where do you work? That is a question, right? What do you do there? It's second. Eh, ¿Dónde trabajas? ¿Qué haces ahí? Eh, or, and how do you like your job? En este caso, eh, Andrea, she say, I love it. Amo mi trabajo. ¿Eh? Probablemente Jason no Where mucho. do you work? So let's say a little bit this. Where do you work? I work at Al's Pizza. What do you do there? I am a waiter. I sell the food to customers. Let's see, I have a chat. Teacher, okay, Josael, I understand you. So the first question, where do you work? El lugar donde usted trabaja, I work at, in the name of the company. What do you do there? What are your obligations there? What do you have to do there? So I'm a waiter, I sell the food to customers. Let's see, David, where do you work? I work in the performance. Okay, that's great. In an English account? Uh, it was only an example, teacher. <laughs> oh, it's just an example. Very good. Okay. I hope that you can get a job there soon, right? And what do you do there? I helped um, to the customers uh, to buy things. Excellent, thank you so much. Very good answer. So in this way, right, where do you work? And then what do you do there? ¿Qué haces ahí? ¿Cuáles son tus responsabilidades ahí? Then take a look at this example here. Simple present with W equation and a statement. The first one is, what do you do? This question is, ¿a qué te dedicas? What do you do? Let's see, for example, Dennis, what do you do? Then you say, I am a student. I am a student and I'm having a part-time job. Excellent, thank you. Let's see, any other here? Marco Antonio, what do you do? I'm a student. A student, excellent. So, Claudia, what do you do? You say, I'm a teacher, I'm a lawyer, I'm a nurse. Claudia, what do you do? Tell me. I'm a secretary. I'm a housewife. So you're not my casa. I'm a student. Sí, ya es student. Y, y no sé cómo decir eh, qué pasa en casa. Okay. Uh, I'm a housewife. 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 Okay. Perfect answer. Thank you. So let's see. Anyone here? Let's see, Ileana, what do you do? Uh, I'm a teacher. Okay, that's great. Uh, let me guess, math teacher? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm an English teacher <laughs> too. Oh, that's great, perfect. So the next question is, where do you work? Where do you work? Then you say, I work at a restaurant. I work in a restaurant. So where do you work? The place. Where do you go to school? 
So where do you go to school? And I don't study at the school about it. I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. This is for third person. Where does? Where does Andrea work? Where does Claudia work? Where does Esmeralda work? Where does uh, see, Josael work? Where does uh, Oscar work? What does she do? ¿Qué hace ella? Or what does he do? ¿Qué hace él? In this question, how does she like it? Okay. ¿Cómo le parece este trabajo? Uh, then, she loves it. Ella ama ese trabajo. ¿verdad? Then, I have this. Do you remember this? For third person in simple present, we need to add an S right to the verb. Let's see, for example, work, works, take, takes, study, studies, teach, teaches, do, does, go, goes, have, has. So third person, oh, we are going to see this example later. But first of all, let's listen this. Let's listen this example. Take a second here. Yeah, we're going to listen this question in this answer. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does, Goes, has. Okay, now can you help me to make sentences in this part? Let's see how I say, it. let's see, for example, Maria is a lawyer. Y ella trabaja en una oficina. ¿Cómo Simple sería esa present versión? WH questions and statements. What do you do? Uh -huh. Tell me. She works a lawyer's. Okay, she is a lawyer. Ella trabaja en una oficina. She works in an office. Okay, work. She works. Their person, right? Thank you so much. She works in an office. Now let's listen. The question and the answer. Let's see if I have this here. Simple present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. Okay, now I need to volunteer to practice this answer in these, uh, this question and this answer. Who wants to help me? Who wants to practice at this time? Anyone in here? I have David and anyone? Any other volunteer? No volunteers who wants to try it? Okay, I have another volunteer. Let me see. Ileana, Ili, thank you so much. Okay, David, you are going to ask the question and Eli, you are going to answer them. So let's start, please. Okay. Um, what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work in a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at uh, Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer to practice? 
That was great, David and Ileana. Very good pronunciation. Thank you so much. Anyone? I need another two volunteer to practice and then we move to the next team. Okay, let's see who's in here. Thank you, Jose Eduardo and Moises. Thank you. So can you please start, Moises? You are going to ask the question. And Jose, you are going to read the answer. Uh, okay. Uh, what do you do? I am a student. I am on a part-time job. Uh, where do you work? I work in a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guy. She takes people of tours. How does she like it? She loves it. Okay, she loves it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's go with the next. Okay, now let's see. Simple present third person rules, right? Do you remember these? Reglas para formar en la tercera persona, ¿verdad? En los verbos. Bueno. En la tercera persona, los verbos sufren un pequeño cambio. Tenemos que agregarle una S en, a la mayoría de ellos. A los verbos que terminan en consonante más una Y. Eh, vamos a eliminar la Y y vamos a agregar I y S. Y los verbos que terminan en las siguientes letras. O, C, A, S-A-T-H-X, S-S, and E-S, we are going to add E-S, right? So let's see, for example, work, eat, play, swim, write. To this verb, we are going to add just S. And I have words, eat, play, swim, and write. The next verb that end in consonant plus Y, study, write, Right, by and fly, I'm going to add IES. Studies, cries, right, by and fly. And the next rule, first, that any O, S, A, C, A, X, and S, S, we add ES. For example, go, watch, watch, digs, and is. And goes, washes, watches, digs, and kisses. Okay. Now let's see. Can you please uh, tell me three sentences? Tell me three sentences using this verb in third person. By the way, which are the third person of the singular? ¿Cuáles son esos personal pronouns? ¿Cuáles son las terceras personas del singular? Do you remember that? She, he, and it. Thank you so much. They are she, he, and also it. Can you give me two examples? Uh, she plays the guitar. Thank you so much, David. She plays. She plays the guitar. Thank you. Any other example? Their person. He, she, or it. Mas, he works. He works. He works. In office. In an office. Thank you. He works in an office. Perfect. Any other? He played a guitar. He played. He played the guitar. Anyone? Any other sentence? Okay, then don't forget about these rules, right? And let's uh, go with this exercise. Let's practice. 
Number one, a mechanic speak hard. The verb is speak. ¿Qué necesito agregarle ese verbo para formar correctamente la tercera persona? Es. Yes. Es. Yes, yes. What about the next one? Yes. We watch. Yes. Yes. The next. Yes. Yes. Um, the next big drink and hate. Yes. Yes. Okay. Big. big drink and the last one. Cats. Yes. My cat hates my dog. And the last three were study, cry, and deny. I E S. I E S. I E S. Yes. Thank you. I volunteer to read the first three sentences. Who wants to read the three first examples? Thank you, Marco Antonio. Okay. A mechanic fixes cars, he washes. So operas every afternoon. She kisses her husband before he goes to work. Thank you. Then Rebecca Jonel, can you please read the second one? The yellow one. She speaks two language. She drinks of coffee every morning. My cat says my dog. Thank you. That was perfect. And the last one, please, let me see if I have another volunteer here. Yes, I have Esmeralda Guadalupe. Thank you. Esmeralda, the red one, please. Katy studies every, every night. The baby craze of the time. She, she Jenny's. All responsibility. Thank you so much. She denies all responsibility. She denies all responsibility. Okay. Thank you so much. Easy, right? So don't forget about this rule. And most of the verbs just add S. The verb that any X, C, H, S, S, we add yes. The verb that end in consonant plus Y, we take out the Y and we add I E S. The negative statement in simple present. How to make negative sentences? Then this is the structure that we need to follow to make negative sentences in simple present. We need a subject, we need the auxiliary do, and we need the verbs. Plus the complement. And I have this example. Any volunteer to read the examples, please? Who wants to help me? Oh, okay, I have no seen. David, thank you so much, David. I don't work in a factory. You don't work on weekends. We don't talk to work. They don't love their job. Excellent, thank you. We don't walk to work. Now, third person. In third person, I need does, the auxiliary does. And then we add not, and we have doesn't. Subject, doesn't, the verb, and the complement. And I want you to read these three examples. Dennis, thank you so much. Okay, he doesn't work in a hospital. She doesn't use a computer. I doesn't work fast. Uh, the last one, please. I doesn't work fast. It, uh, it, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, don't worry. It doesn't I have a, work. I have, a, I have a one problem in my eyes, sorry. Okay, okay, don't worry. Thank you so much. It doesn't work fast. Then... It doesn't work fast. Perfect now, thank you. 
Let's see a little bit of this sentence. What is the subject? We don't go to work. What is the subject in this sentence? To work. Subject? subject. We. 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 We is the subject, yes. Uh, what is the verb in she doesn't use a computer? What is the verb? Use. 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 Use is the verb. So don't forget about this structure, right? Las estructuras son muy importantes en inglés porque todas las oraciones van a ir así. Si son oraciones negativas en presente simple, todas ellas van a seguir esta estructura. Subject, do plus not, Contractado se convierte en don, paired and complement. Si es tercera persona, third person, we need a subject, doesn't plus not, contracted, doesn't, paired plus complement. So, si nos aprendemos la estructura, it is going to be easy to make sentences, negative sentences. Do you have any question in this part? Question. No question. Okay, that's great. Then let's continue. Yes, no question. Yes, no question in simple present. To make yes, no question in simple present, we are going to need the following structure. We need the auxiliary do and subject, the verb plus the complement. And finally, we are going to need the question mark. So do, subject, verb, complement, and the question mark. So let's take a look at these three examples. Uh, for the pronouns you, we, and they, we are going to use to. Any volunteer to read these three questions? Yes, no question. Who wants to read them? Thank you, Sonia. Do you work in a big company? Do we go to work by bus? Do they work hard? Thank you so much. Then, yes, no question. Here are the possible answers. Uh, can you help me to find the answer for the equation number one? Do you work in a big company? What is yes, right? they do. No, mm -hmm. they don't. Is it right? Do you work in a big company? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Thank you so much. Then you say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Those are the possible answers. Do you work in a big company? You say, yes, I do. I work in a big company. You say, no, I don't. I work in a small company. Do we go to work by bus? Which are the answers for this question? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Thank you so much. You say, yes, we do. No, we don't. Do they work hard? Then is it right? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Those are the possible answers. So I need to volunteer to practice in this yes, no question. The volunteers. Thank you, David. Anyone? David M. Thank you, Marco. So, David, you are going to read the question and you are going to answer it, please, Marco. Do you work in a big company? I do. Do we, do we go to work by bus? Yes, we do. Do they work hard? Yes, they do. Perfect. Now, what happened with the third person? Let's go with the next slide here. Okay, third person. For third person, we are going to need this structure. Auxiliary does, subject, the verb, complement, and also the question mark. Let's see, does Lucia work at the supermarket? 
Ok. ¿Cuál podría ser la respuesta para esta pregunta? ¿Does Lucia work at the supermarket? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Perfect. Thank you. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does Edward work at the airport? What could be the answers for that question? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Excellent. Then this is the structure that we need for third person. And yes, no question. Does, subject, the verb, complement, and the question mark. Questions? Do you have any question about this? No? Okay. Then let's go to the breakup room. We are going to practice in the breakup room. And we are going to discuss these three questions. Number one, where do you work? What do you do there? And how do you like your job? So are you ready? Take notes of the question. You can take notes and you can take, uh, take a screenshot for you to have the question. So what is the meaning of the first question? Where do you work? Donde trabajas. Okay, excellent. So what do you do there? The second one is ¿Qué haces? ¿Cuáles son tus responsabilidades ahí? What do you do there? And how do you like your job? We can add one here at the beginning. Let's see if I can change it. Yeah. So let's add this. What do you do? What do you do? This is the first one now. So, ¿A qué te dedicas? What do you do? I am a student. Si alguien dice estudiante, podemos cambiarle la pregunta. Entonces sería, where do you start? What do you start? And how do you like your major? En caso de que sea estudiante. We can change the question. Are you ready to practice with your classmates? You are going to discuss this question with them in the breakout room. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yes, teacher. Okay. Bueno, espero que hayan tomado notas de las preguntas, right? Oh, in a screenshot. Teacher. Gracias. Okay. Okay. What? Okay, here we go. Let's practice with your classmate. Five groups. Here we go, guys. You are going to have five minutes to complete this exercise. Okay? So practice. Practice with your classmate. Por ahí les va a llegar la invitación para que se unan a los grupos. Claudia, William, ¿recibieron la invitación para unirse a los grupos? No, teacher. En absoluto. Ahorita. Ah, ok, perfecto. What about you, Claudia? Do you have a problem? 
to enter to the breakout room. Hello, Lorena. Good evening. Can I help you to enter to the breakout room? Hello, Claudia. Hello, Esmeralda. Did you finish? Terminaron su práctica. A mí me está fallando el inter, teacher. Ah, ok. Very good. ¿Y ya había practicado con sus compañeros en the breakout room? If not, we can discuss the equation here, Esmeralda. Okay, then I'm going to visit your classmate. One group. I'm going to go to... Marco and Jonel Group. Hello, Marco. Hello, Jonel. Yes. How are you tonight? How are you tonight? That's bad. I'm good. You are, uh, how are you? Now, how about you, Jonel? How are you? Bad. You're bad. Why? Why are you bad? I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I'm tired. You're tired. Okay, don't worry. In 15 minutes, you are going to go to bed. You are going to sleep the whole night. Do you have any other thing to do after the class? Um, do you... my, my homework. Oh, your homework on the platform? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You are going. You are going to sleep like eleven o'clock p.m. Yeah. <laughs> this weekend I'm working all the week. Really, you are going to work next week? No, I'm next weekend. Off. Okay. Uh, where do you work? First question: What do you do, Yonel? Well, yeah, I'm. I work in general director of Nigerian. Okay, that's nice. Uh, what do you do there? Uh, I'm an immigration officer. That's great. And what was the other question? What was the last question? Ah, how do you like your job? Well, it's complicated. 
I like the um, this job. I work one week and take off one week. Ah, okay, very interesting. But I imagine that the work that, that the week that you have to work is uh, really hard, right? Yeah. Really busy. It's a really busy week. Okay, thank you for your answer, Yonel. And what about Marco? Yonel, can you ask the question to Marco, please? Okay. Uh, Marco, where do you yes. work? I'm a student. Oh, then, where do you study? Uh, I study in university, uh, Matias Delgado. Great. Uh, what is your major? Loss. Loss. Okay. Loss, my yes. wife. My wife's a lawyer. Oh yes. Yes, right. she is. Yes, she is. She's a lawyer too. You are going to be colleagues, right? When you finish yes. your major. Nice. And how do you like your major? It's um. Excuse me, eso sería, ¿qué es lo que te gusta de tu carrera? Es como, ¿cuánto te gusta? ¿Cuánto te gusta tu trabajo o tu carrera en ese caso? Uh, I think so, so. Really? Why? Yes. I, have an, I love my mayor. I love loves. I was well, waiting that answer. Well, uh, that's why uh, loves... Yes, there are things that are very interesting, but there are things that are very boring. And I don't know how to say this in, in English, but it, cuando, digamos, cuando las cosas son como que muy pesadas, no aburridas, sino que son temas pesados o difíciles de entender. I don't know how to say that. Ah, uh, okay. So there are some topics that are really difficult to understand. So. Uh, you can use a simple word, right? Keep your English as simple, right? Uh, the goal of speaking another language is that the other people understand you. So you can use a simple word, simple sentences. So you can say there are many difficult things in my major or there are, dif there are uh, different things that are difficult to understand. Oh, you, can, okay. you can say those sentences, Ah, uh, yes. Well, but, well, um, uh, yes, they are very boring things. And they are different. There are topics that are very hard to understand. Okay, yes. nice. Now, can you see? Now you have expressed your ideas, right? With simple words. Yes. That's, <laughs> that's, that's great. Nice. And do you have to read a lot? Yes. Yes, I have <laughs> okay. to read. A lot. Okay. Good luck, right? Nos invita a la graduación, please. See you in a minute. <laughs> See you in a minute with the rest of your classmates. Thank you so much for your answer. See you. Okay, let's see. Hello, Eli. Did you finish practicing with your classmates? Hello, teacher. Este, tuve un problema con el, con el Zoom. Me sacó de la reunión. Hasta ahorita acabo de entrar. Ah, ok. Probably it's because of the internet connection. So, don't worry. Hello, José Eduardo. William, welcome again to the class. How was your practice? Did you share with your classmates? Yes? Yes. Okay, let's see. Who was working with Moises? Who were working with Moises? Perdón. ¿Quién estaba trabajando con Moises? Who were working with Moises? José Eduardo. José Eduardo, what? Okay, what does Moises do? ¿A qué se dedica? What does he do? Uh, Moises is a student. Oh, he is a student. Engineer. Oh, he's studying engineering. In, in, engineering. Excellent. In University Don Bosco. 
Okay, and Don Bosco University. That's Don great. Bosco University. Okay. Uh, who was working with Sonia? ¿Quién estaba en el grupo de Sonia? Who were working with her? Oh, Moises. Okay, Moises, tell me. What does Sonia do? Uh, Sonia works at home. She is a entrepreneur. Emprendedor. Okay, entrepreneur, yes. Very good. Nice, Sonia. Who was working with David? ¿Quién estaba en el grupo de David? Nobody? I'm here. Ah, okay, Denise. What mm -hmm. does David do? Uh, David, he's working in a restaurant and, uh, and uh, welcome to the customers in the restaurant. Okay, great. Uh, who were working with Oscar? ¿Quién estaba trabajando con Oscar? Nobody. ¿Quién estaba en el grupo de Oscar? Dennis and David. Oh, Dennis and David too. So, oh, okay. Uh, what does Oscar do? ¿A qué se dedica Oscar? What does Oscar do? He works in, um, I used to remember, he said about networks oh really i <laughs> being honest i don't remember the the things that he said because we had a big conversation but i remember that he said that he works in networks is that true in something he, uh, he is very networks. intelligent yeah uh, technical service yeah. yes um, okay <laughs> yeah. very interesting very interesting job, thank you. So let's take a look at the exercises on the platform. Just to finish the class, we are going to take a look at the exercises about this topic here on the platform. So let's complete them. And these are the exercises. Ya todos completaron esta sección? Yes? Or yes, I complete. Ah, okay, I have already finished this, that's great. Yes. So the first one, number one, what? Task or do? Which auxiliary do I need to complete this question, the first exercise? Okay, do. Do. What do you do? do? I'm full, I'm a full-time student. I study the violin. Great. Do you like a musical instrument? Go. Who can play a musical instrument here in the class? Nobody? Drums, flute, violin, nobody? I play the drum uh, at the school uh, as a constant oh. thing. Ah, nice. That's pretty cool. Uh, number two, where do you go? Go. Or go. 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 I go to New York School of Music. The third one. Do you like your classes? How or how, where? How? 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 How do you like your class? Thank you. I like them a lot. And number four. What do or what does? Does. Yes, give me a second. What is happening here? Yeah, it is working. What does you say, right? What does Tanya do? She's a teacher, like Ileana. She's a teacher. <laughs> what does she do exactly? Any other teacher in the class? Yes, teachers. Ileana? Teachers. Teachers? teachers. Okay, what does she do exactly? She teaches. Teacher. And what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works or he works? Works. 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 Uh, for a big company. He works for a big company. And number seven, where or what? What? 
what 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 does he do exactly what does he do exactly he creates exactly? website nice let's see let's click on this yeah 10 she got a 10 that was a perfect score 33 points of 33 points si no habían hecho este ejercicio ya le dimos copia okay <laughs> oh, ya lo habían hecho todos I'm pretty sure of that so I need to learn to practice a question and answer here who wants to try the last practice of tonight the Okay, los que no han participado todavía el día de hoy. This is your last chance. This is your last chance to participate. Thank you, Jonel. And any other volunteer to practice? I have Jonel and just one. Uno más y nos vamos a dormir. Who wants to practice? Ah, thank you, Moisés. Thank you so much. Uh, Janelle and Moises. So, Janelle, can you please ask the question? And Moises, can you please read the answers? Okay. What do Let's... you do? Uh, I'm a full time student. Uh, I study the violin. Where, where do you go to school? I go to the New York School of Music. How do you like your classes? I like them a lot. What does Tanya do? She's a teacher. What do she what does she do exactly? She, she teaches math. What about Ryan? Where does, where does he work? He works for a big computer company. The last one? What does? He do exactly. Uh, he creates websites. Perfect job. Thank you so much for your help. Do you have any question about these exercises or about the class? About tonight's class? Questions? No. No questions. Okay, no that's great. Mm, just uh, to clarify this, right? The question, what do you do? It means a que se dedica. Then you say, I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, and a teacher. Then the next, where do you work? Is donde trabajas, right? Or what do you do there exactly? Esa pregunta es, ¿qué haces exactamente ahí? Pero en general, la pregunta, what do you do? Es para preguntar a qué se dedica. ¿Cuál es su profesión? Let's see, what do you do? Then you say, I'm a student. I'm a teacher, I'm a doctor, I'm a secretary, okay? Then if you don't have any other questions, uh, see you tomorrow, right? Don't forget that tomorrow we have classes, right? See you tomorrow at 9 o'clock p.m. Sleep well, bye-bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next class.